Gaslight is Satan's native language. Hello friends. This is Wakeman, and I am happy to be with you once more. This video may cause cognitive dissonance, on people who are still under the spell of the deceptions, carried out by narcissists. Dear friends, we are living in the days of deceptions. Satan's names in scripture teach us that he is the adversary, the slanderer, malignancy personified. Jesus said that, when Satan speaks his lies, he speaks his native language, which is gaslight, also known as deceptions. In order for Satan to spread and unify his language on this planet, he needs many demons, also known as narcissists, to execute his goal. His objective is to deceive as many people as possible and to take their souls to hell. The deception is carried out by narcissists, with gaslight and various forms of concealed abuse. Scripture uses the name Satan 55 times to describe the one who was the very embodiment of evil. Both the Hebrew name Satan, and the Greek equivalent, Satans, mean adversary. The name speaks of the fact that, he is a person, and not a mere evil influence. The personal name Satan, describes the essential nature of the one who stands in opposition to God, truth, his holy angels, and his redeemed saints. It was Satan, the adversary, who desired to be given power over the disciples as a group, and Peter specifically, that he might, Sift you, as wheat. Narcissists are vessels for Satan. For this reason, they propagate gaslight, in order to prevent victims from realizing the spiritual battle at hand. What spiritual battle? You may ask. On this planet, there is a constant spiritual warfare for souls. Satan tries, to take to hell as much different type of souls, as he can get a hold of. God wants to save all created souls, so that they find their way back home and to God. Gaslight is then perpetrated by Satan and his demons, the narcissists, with deceptions and abuse, to remove from people the notion there is a way home and salvation from the spiritual warfare. Narcissists flood the world with deceptions, misinformation, and satanic rituals to keep people oblivious of their ability to choose the truth, the way, and the life, as thought by Jesus. There will be many demons who will bash Jesus, in addition to mocking and scoffing, anyone who will acknowledge Jesus, as Lord and Savior. In this spiritual warfare, the Holy Spirit, is trying to transform you in the image of Christ. This is to be born again in the Spirit of God. When that happens, one becomes filled with the Holy Spirit, and is sealed against the works of the devil. Why what I am saying here, is not openly discussed in universities seminaries, and broadcast media. Because this world is currently controlled by Satan, and his demons, the narcissists. Therefore, they control the level of gaslight inoculated in people on a daily basis. However, there are people, who are taking a stand, and an upright position, to help people to wake up, and to realize the true scope of narcissism. This is also a manifestation of the spiritual warfare taking place right now. Satan, and his minions, the narcissists, are trying to desensitize people, about the scope of narcissism, for people to accept the satanic indoctrination of the narcissistic world order, ruled by Satan himself, as the Antichrist. If you are struggling to recover from narcissistic abuse, and feel you have been running in circles, by all the gaslight and deceptions you have been exposed to, consider turning to Jesus to help you out. The spiritual warfare is real. Not believing it, does not make it disappear. I was touched by Jesus, and born again by the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' model prayer, the phrase, deliver us from evil, is more accurately translated, deliver us from the evil one, Matthew 6 13, Luke 11, 4. All the information on this video is dedicated to the glory and grace of Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Paul says to believers, but the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3, 3 I have included a salvation prayer in the description of this video, should you consider deliverance, through Jesus. The decision is, and it will always be, yours. God bless you.
please remember truth is freedom